Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be trying more TikTok makeup hacks and seeing if they really work. For the people who know me, my name is Leonor, I'm a makeup artist, a makeup lover and a makeup enthusiast and here in my channel you can always find videos about makeup. And today we are going to try more TikTok makeup hacks, hacks that I'm seeing on TikTok and that I feel like I really want to try them, see if they really work and of course that I wanted to bring them to you, try them with you and see if they work, so if you need or if you want to try them you know if they work or not. If you want to see which are the hacks, just keep on watching. I really hope that you are liking this series where I recreate TikTok hacks. Today we are going to have four more to try and the first one is for contour. And as I'm leaving the video in here so you can see what she is doing, I'm going to start applying the contour, the one that I'm going to be using, it's the Huda Beauty one. I'm going to be using a brush to apply the contour, like on the same places that she has. She starts by applying one right here and then in here and on the other side she does the same. One in here and the other goes and connects in here. Then she comes here and pushes up and the other, you push again and you do this. Let's do the other side as well. In the nose she does this and also does like this in here, also here. In the eyes she does something like this. And she like connects in the line that we created that comes from the forehead, does a little bit here on the nose and then she connects this line and she also does some lines in here. So what I'm going to do is with my sponge I'm going to blend this on my skin I haven't applied my powder yet. The only thing that I did before I start applying and recording was apply my foundation and my concealer. In here I'm going to blend it with a brush because the sponge is not very easy to do this part. I like how the skin is looking, it's not looking like too much or anything like that, just did like a very beautiful contour, very kind of natural, it warmed my complexion but it looks good, I don't know if you can see how it's looking there on the camera, but what I really feel with this one is that it warmed my complexion, that it gave some color to the skin tone that I have. Let's do the next hack that it's mixing highlighter with blush and the idea is you pick a liquid highlighter and a liquid blush and you apply them on your skin. They do like three dots of blush. One, two, three. The blush was this one in here from Rare Beauty in the color Encourage and for highlighter I'm going to use this one from Anastasia, the liquid glow in the color Oyster. They apply the highlighter like in the middle of where they applied the blush. I think I applied these dots of blush near from one another so then on this side but we will try it and see what it's going to come out of here. And then for blending she also picks a sponge so let's blend this. It's looking very beautiful. I hope that you can see there. It turned out the blush more shimmer. It's giving some light to the skin, but something like very natural. It's giving a very glowy look to the skin. Now I'm going to do some other steps of my makeup and I'm going to be right back so we can try the other two hacks. So guys, I'm back. I applied my powder, I applied some shadows on the eyes and I applied my eyeliner. The next tip it's for eyeliner and I decided to already do the eyeliner because the idea 
with this technique is when you get mistaken with your eyeliner you pick a little bit of tape and you take the eyeliner. That's why I decided to already do the eyeliner out of the camera. The idea now is just to cut a little bit of tape and put the tape where we have the eyeliner and see if it takes the eyeliner as she says on the video. Let's try it. I'm going to put on this one. I think that it's already dried so we can put the tape. I'm pressing it and now we pull. Okay, it took the biggest part of the eyeliner so that's cool. Almost everything of the eyeliner came out so it's easier if we want to make it again, do it again. Now let's do the eyeliner again so I don't have eyeliner in one eye and not on the other. <laughs> I like this one. I have to say that I wasn't really expecting it to work but I'm happy that it did because now when we are doing eyeliner if we get mistaken or anything like that we have a way to take it out with like too much of a thing <laughs> like we don't need to go pick makeup wipes or or any kind of product to take off our makeup to take the eyeliner The eyeliner is done. I really liked the hack. I think that it really works. And now let's pass to the next one, the last one that is for lips. So for that I'm going to first apply my mascara and I will be right back. As I told you, next hack is for lips. And the thing is, you apply a lipstick in your lips and then you like take the product itself and then it's supposed to leave a little bit of color on your lips and then you just pick a gloss and you put the gloss on top. So it's going to give you some juicy lips. We will try it and see if it works. She's using a red lipstick. I decided to pick one as well. I'm going to use this one in here from NARS in the color Inappropriated Red. The red lipstick is applied. I'm just going to let it for a little bit on my lips so it gains the color, I don't know. So let's wait a little bit. What I'm going to do is pick a tissue and take the lipstick now. As you can see, it left here a little bit of a stain of the lipstick. So what I'm going to do now is pick a lip gloss that I have in here and let's apply it. We have our lips very juicy but not with a lot of color just gave like a subtle tone to the lips something that almost looks very natural. I really liked this hack as well. The lips look very juicy like they look very natural so I like it. So let me talk now a little bit about every single one of the four hacks. The first one, the contour hack, I think that it's a good one. I have to say that probably out of the four it was the least one that I liked because I think that I can create the same effect with other forms of doing uh, the contour. I'm not saying that I didn't like it but out of the four it was the one that I liked less but I liked all of them. <laughs> I think that it worked good. I think that it gave a good color to my face. It warmed up my complexion, so I like it. The second one, the blush and highlighter mixed. We gave some light in here, something very natural to the skin, like for us to use when we don't want too much. And we are going to give a mixed feeling of the eyeliner with the blush. The third one, the eyeliner one, the take your eyeliner with a little bit of tape. I wasn't expecting it to work. I wasn't, but I'm really happy that it worked because it's a good way, like if you are doing your eyeliner and you do a little bit with the pencil and it goes where you don't want it to go. Now you have something that you can do without like taking all of the makeup. You can just take that little bit of eyeliner and it's 
done. And the last one, the lips. I think that really works, that it gives a beautiful look to the lips. As you can see, like it looks like I have my lips stained. You can do that with other lipsticks. You just have to take the biggest amount of product and then if you want them to look juicy, you can apply a lip gloss like you saw that I did and it looks beautiful. Like I'm looking at my lips on the mirror and I'm feeling like they look so like natural, like just having a little bit of a gloss here and there. Now I want to know what you thought about the video, if you liked it or not what you thought about TX, if you have already tried one of them or not, or if you'd like to, so go down there in the comments area and tell me everything. And if you like this video and you don't want to miss any of my other videos here on my YouTube channel, don't forget to also go down there and click on the subscribe button and also on the ring bell so you can get all the notifications when I upload a new video. And if you like this one, don't forget to also give it a thumbs up. I'm also going to leave down there the other social media that I use so you can go there and follow me as well. Now that we are in the end of the video, I just want to thank you so much for being here, for watching my video until the end. And now I hope to see you on my next one. Bye!